Hey, what's going on you guys? So the other day, I went to go get my eyes checked. Been a while, it's been over 10 years since the last time I got it checked. It feels a little bit blurry, so I went to go look, just to see what happened. Um, came out pretty good, they said it's fine, but it is getting a little bit bad. But she says I don't really need glasses. So when she gave me the one that you try out there with the lens that you actually need, um, I put them on and wow, it's like seeing in 720 and then you put on the glasses and it becomes 1080. You can see in both, but one of them is just way clearer, way sharper. And it was amazing, it was pretty dope. Never knew I was looking at 720 this entire time until I saw 1080. I mean, which one would you guys prefer? So I went online, ordered a pair, you know, get them prescripted and maybe wear them only when I'm driving at night and reading. To having to do that, I feel a little bit old. Damn. Anyways, box came in today and I just want to open them up and try them out right in front of you guys. I don't ever wear glasses, especially not these, so it might change how I look completely. Here's a little receipt. Made by Warby Parker, little online website. I saw a couple of their stuff, it's pretty cheap and nice, so I thought I'd buy a pair. The box is blue, favorite color, pretty dope stuff. Look at this. For every pair you purchase, a pair is distributed. That's amazing, that's cool. It's kinda cool, they got a 30 day, no question asked refund. If you don't like it and it doesn't work well, return it, they'll give you another one. Here's the box. There it is. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel. Let's see, 1080, here you go. Oh yeah, wow. <laughs> this, how do I look? This is kinda weird. I've never, never really tried glasses on before. But I'm not gonna lie, seeing in 1080 is amazing. How come everything's so sharp? Dang. So if you guys, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna wear this. I'm just gonna wear this throughout the whole vlog and maybe I'll get used to it or you guys will get used to it. Just this time. Cause I know if you keep wearing your glasses, your eyes are just gonna keep getting worse. So I don't wanna wear this all the time. All right, let's get back to work. And I'll catch you guys later. Are you kidding me right now? As I was eating my lunch, I accidentally hit the plate that's filled with ketchup, Tabasco, Sriracha, Tapatio. It spilled all over my shirt and pants. And I have no extra shirt. So I gotta go home and change because I can't go out like this. That's weird. And it smells like Tapatio. So let's get out of here. Let's go because I have an appointment in 30 minutes. 30 minutes. And I gotta be back. I'll leave everything there. It's bright as hell out here. It's hot. I need to get uh, some window tints in this car ASAP. Anyways, let's drive home. I'm completely changed, feel nice. No more Tabasco or Tapatio ketchup smell. It's a good thing to work right next to where you live. So you can go home and do things like this. Anyways, I got about nine minutes to get back. My client's waiting, so I'll catch you guys later. I gotta get out of here, come on. Look what I have. I always tap on the box. 16 to 35 millimeter F4 IS. I think this, this is actually a perfect vlogging camera. Correct that, vlogging lens. 
warranty card there. Nice stuff. Oh no. Oh, look at that. A little pouch. In case you want to protect your lens. Might be useful. Maybe. Let's stack all these things on top. It's almost as if they want you to go through these things first before you get to the final stage. Nice little lens hood. We're at the final stage. Ooh. I'll put that back. Put that back. All right, all right, all right. I'll open it up. It's light. What? Whoa. I swear, every time I unbox something, it feels like something always drop. It's like nice couple buttons here. Autofocus, manual focus on off. Image stabilizer on off. The focus ring, the zoom ring. I really like the fact that it doesn't come out. It doesn't, you know, some lens it comes out. I hate the way those looks. The lens is nice and clean. I like it, I like it a lot. I can't wait to try it. Actually, I was gonna try this on tomorrow because it's already getting late today, but I'm just gonna switch it out real quick and see the difference. It is super wide. Let me make sure everything is on. Yep, autofocus is good. Ah, yes, it's good, but it's on a tripod, so that doesn't matter, but it is super wide. Let's zoom this in a little bit. 35, nice. This could be, that's 35 right there. That is so close. Let's uh, stay away a little bit. I think that was 24. This is 24. This is what we were vlogging with. Of course, the image isn't as blurry in the background. There isn't as many bokeh in this lens than my 24 millimeter. It is an F4, so I had to raise the ISO just to compensate. All right, this is me hand holding the lens with IS on. It does feel a lot nicer. It doesn't feel as shaky as I, when I was holding the 24 millimeter. But right now it's getting pretty late. So I'm gonna end this part here and then we'll continue and pick this up tomorrow morning. See ya.